Well, it's time now for our high school game time segment. Talk baseball in a little bit. Bringing in prep expert Doug Ritchie. Doug, for softball, two brand new state champions. And how about New London? Can't ask for a better ending than we saw in that game. No, uh, New London did uh, the dream ending, I guess is what Oof. you would call it. Uh, winning the way they did coming down to their final out. And I guess if you're going to win your first state title, that's the way to do it, isn't it? That was unbelievable. <laughs> Let's look at these highlights. If you missed this one, you got to see it. New London goes down 2 nothing in this game, but that was Molly O'Connell, freshman, eight hitter in the lineup, two run double. You see the celebration to walk off. Unbelievable. Absolutely. I mean, you talk about a freshman, maybe she was too young to understand. She's, <laughs> hey, you're supposed to be nervous in yeah. this moment. Well, what did she do? She, uh, Gave New London a state title. I talked to her after the game. You could hear the roar from the crowd. Unbelievable from a freshman in that situation getting the state title hit. I don't even know what I was thinking. I was I was thinking just hit the ball, and they're not going to be mad at you if you just hit it. We had been hitting the ball that we just wouldn't score, and we just said today is our day. We're going to do it, and we did it. <laughs> come up as a freshman to be able to do something like that. She can hit the ball very well, but that, I think that surprised everybody. She just crushed that. That's an unbelievable feeling to have that right there. When she did that, that was just awesome. Our whole model this year has been, it's our day. And you know what? <laughs> it was our day. That's awesome. A close <laughs> win for Algoma as well in Division Four. They win the softball state title. And Doug, a big inning for them propelled them to a 5-4 win. Yeah, it was like their, their semifinal. They got mm -hmm. five runs in the eighth. They came in one, and then they got four runs here. And that led them to this big one. Obviously. Absolutely. And six of the girls were on this year's state champion basketball team. And Algoma, they just know how to win. Ours is going. <laughs> Glad it wasn't Gatorade and it's warm out. <laughs> I'm still taking everything in. For them, definitely exciting, especially for the seniors. Some of them play basketball, so this is two championships for them. There's no better way to go, out, obviously, and uh, just to do it with like my best friends, like basketball and softball, it's just uh, a story that's not often told. Like in the state semis, a big inning helped. Four runs in the fifth inning sparked by the bottom of the order getting on base. Maybe because we've been down to state multiple times, but I don't know. It just it's clicking for us, so it's nice. The first hit, everybody gets excited, and they just want hits, so and we just keep hitting, and it's it's, it's amazing. <laughs> we just start when we're little, and you just keep working at it, and your coaches, as you go on, get better and better, and it all starts when you're little. And again here. Behind the well, two for two on titles. You can't get much better than that. And what I like, Algoma, they're seven and eight hitters in that big inning. They get on base. And we saw, of course, Molly O'Connell from New London, a freshman. It's the unexpected heroes that get you the state title. Well, you know what? You bat one through nine. You don't mm -hmm. go one through five. You, all these girls have to bat. And they're in the lineup for a reason because they're one of their, their, their better hitters. Maybe they're not the three, four girl, but sometimes they got to step up, and that's exactly what they did. And that's how you win state titles. You need help from maybe sources you didn't know you had and, and that's how you win it's playing as a team that's what's important all right team important in baseball as well state baseball tournament getting started at fox city stadium on tuesday here's a look at division one from our area we have nina and bayport all facing some tough competition doug yeah and nina was there two years ago got to the state championship game when nobody expected them do they do that again that would be interesting <laughs> that's in d1 those are quarterfinal games Division two, we start right off in the semifinals. Notre Dame going to take off Ellsworth, take on Ellsworth in their first game. And maybe have Ellsworth take off after the game. Would be nice yes, for so Notre would. Dame fans, I'm sure. <laughs> in Division three, from our area, O'Connor is going to have, making their nice run to state. What do you look for out of them in their first matchup? Well, I'll tell you what, you're two games away from the state title. You're pitching your ace. O'Connor's got a chance, well, it, you know, just like those other teams. but. Everyone's playing well right now, so who knows what's going to happen, but it'll be fun. And in Division Four, Greenwood taking on Wasaki in that first game, Potosi and Lake County Lutheran in the other game in Division Four. Let's go back to Nina. You mentioned them a little while ago. Can you explain this for me? You're, you're the prep expert. Uh, Nina, 11 seed. Kimberly, 1 seed. Where on earth did this come well, from? Nina's got two ones in their seed. That's, so maybe that's that, better. So maybe well, that was better. I, You know what? Kimberly, I saw this year, and I could not... <laughs> envision anyone shutting this team out. They have so many bats, they just hit you. I saw them just take apart Appleton North, who Nina also beat during this run. Yeah. It, they just got, they obviously got hot at the right time. They're familiar with Kimberly, and maybe that familiarity helped them. I, I, there's no other way to explain it. And we saw Sam Erickson, he had the home run that won it. Surprising win for the Rockets. 
I still can't believe it being an 11 seed. You never think you would beat the number one seed. And Kimberly, very good team. I think they're like, once we played them, they're a second ranked team in the state. So, so unbelievable right now. Something clicked and they, they gained confidence and uh, they have been playing well. It's been unbelievable. Yeah, Nina, well, they're going to be underdogs mm -hmm. when, they, when they get to Fox City Stadium later this week. Doug, which team from our area, as you feel, has the best shot of winning a state title? Bayport. Bayport. Uh, they're here. They're at state every year. They went to the state championship a year ago. So they, they know what this thing's all about at Fox City Stadium. They like their pitching depth this year. Ryan Frieder's going to get the ball in the first game, and Bayport probably has the best chance. But the thing you like about the other schools, they only got to win two games. Mm -hmm. And so they don't have to test their pitching depth as much, but Bayport really good. That's a great point. Depth does really play yes. a concern when you got three games 